for many of us, dogs are an important part of our lives. Dogs grow up with us as constant companions, as best friends. They stick by us, protecting and loving whatever happens or whatever we do. Dogs are always glad to see us and never too tired to play. When you really think about it, dogs bring people more than just joy and friendship. They're also a valuable part of our lives. Throughout history, dogs have worked side by side with humans in countless ways. For centuries, dogs have been used for water rescue. Herding breeds work at rounding up sheep and other livestock on farms all across the country. And in cities all over the world, dogs perform the dangerous police work of the bomb squad. Dogs also play an important part of the federal government's effort to stop illegal drugs. Dogs have also been an important part of rescue efforts after earthquakes, finding victims buried under debris. Some of the best work many well-known breeds such as Golden Retrievers, Labrador Retrievers, German Shepherd Dogs, and others perform is their day-to-day -day work with the disabled, including the blind. It has been wonderful because I take the dog everywhere with me and um, we do all kinds of things together, well, everything together. There's a lot of things that, that I wanted to be able to do, but with a canine, I, I did them but I think this will give me a lot more confidence and security in doing them. At the very beginning of the training, and I didn't know how to trust my dog. They had a manhole open. They didn't have it covered. Doing a, it was a construction area, and I just kept trying to get him to go forward. But he chose to disobey and started pulling me right really hard. And so we turned right and went around it, and then I found out later what it was. So he's, he's pretty smart. He doesn't want to get himself killed or me. Yeah, I'm just anxious to go around my campus and show them to people and just go at a quicker pace than I used to. Dogs can also help the deaf. Oh, And you think you job. How could a dog tell you what it sounded? But a dog, if a doorbell is ringing, he would bring me to the front door. If the baby is crying, he would bring me to the crib. Not the front door, not anywhere else. He would show me where the sound is. That's how he knows, that's how I know. Dogs can also make everyday life a little easier for other disabled people. Before Tess came along, if I dropped something on the floor, you know, I couldn't pick it back up. So I would stay there all day till somebody came. If I needed something from the refrigerator, you know, I couldn't get it, so it would either have to be out before somebody left or, you know, I'd have to wait. Tuck, back, good girl. Get it, get it. That's it, get it. But now, you know, she can get stuff from the refrigerator for me. She knows how to open doors. You know, the elevator buttons that I can't reach, she can reach for me. So she's pretty much become like my hands, you know. When I'm alone, you know, I have somebody to be with. And when I go out with her, it's also, like, interesting because people will come up to you quicker if you have a dog, and they'll want to see you, and they'll look right over your wheelchair, like, because they see that she's working for you, and they want to know more about her. So she's like an icebreaker, really. For many senior citizens, the love and affection they get from their dogs is a very important part of their lives. Companionship therapy is thought by many in the medical community to lower blood pressure and relieve stress. It's pretty amazing to think about all the ways dogs bring both joy and value to our lives. <laughs> 